Total FX video for the QuasiDB service for Wednesday, the 2nd of December. Uh, S&P chart, you've got very strong diagonal uh, now support, which could turn into resistance, but we do have an ascending moving average line, um, which has been quite good at projecting the supports and then your resistances and then your supports. So and then you your support again, support. Uh, it's a 68 day moving average. It's a bit bizarre, but it does tend to work for this time frame on this instrument. So as we saw, we had some nice support there. So um, the next uh, test is the September, sorry, the um, November high. We break that, we'll get to MR1 3789 because we're above monthly pivot. So that's like the bias and below monthly pivot, then we can target um, support. Right, because it's probably going to go up, it's going to hurt our signals a little bit. Um, SLC for AJ is 77.16. Um, we're taking it at the very moment in time. We are taking it just at, at, at that right now. Um, zoom out again. On below is uh, 76.39. Check your technicals. Check your signal. Check your MACD. Parabolic SAR. Check your stochastics. So, you know, try and get things to align uh, before entry and also check your fundamental reasons as well, why Aussie would uh, be performing well. And with Trump out of the picture, this could also possibly do well because there wouldn't be any um, trade concerns as well. So there are sort of macro reasons for this to do well. Uh, it could just be a negative week this week. Uh, luckily, our Euro, USD and Euro Yen pairs are doing well, so we might end up flat. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen here, whether or not we'll take this SLC and come down. Um, the reason for this uh, resistance is here. And that's the uh, 11th of November high. So that's going to be some su uh, supply. And we're hitting it now. So um, I don't know what's going to happen here. I think it might hit that and then come down. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let's zoom back in again. Uh, so look at that candle, it's pretty bonkers. AU on above is 74.21, 73.33. Uh, we are a buy and slightly selling it, so that would become a buy. Uh, yeah, so I covered quite a lot of uh, on the AJ, but just check your technicals and your monthly pivot. And your resistance is miles above at 75.03. So uh, potentially we can get up there on December. It all depends what happens with the dollar. The A, um, one above is 16402, one below is 16113. Selling it, so that should become a buy. It might bounce off monthly pivot. The U, monthly resistance, one is 12082. We're on that now. It could be resistance. Um, one above is 121 on the dot. So that's very imaginative of the retail guys to do that. One two one, uh, and one two oh eighteen is the stop loss cluster below. We're very much a buy on the sentiment, and this is maybe a doing a round and effect, saying that stops are getting hit. Yeah, so that's of interest because um, we're weak on the M one, but the rest of the MAs are strong. GU. Uh, this is possibly news related with the vaccine, and don't forget if we have a Brexit positive outcome, then we'll it'll go um, rocket mode. One three five two four is your MR one because we're above monthly pivot. We have to target that SLC above one three four four six. One below is one three four on the dot. Um, yeah, it's very choppy. It's very hard to trade. That's why we deactivated this signal, this particular pair. Uh, it's them going long, that's them going short in a very short space of time. Very choppy. And you taking the stop loss cluster out, it was 7077, as you can see, we're above. Um, so I'm going long, so it could be bearish, but it looks like it's ignoring the dynamic sentiment. And we're above monthly pivot. And don't forget, we've got the, the weak USD. So the fact that the week, the dollar's weak, it's going to propel prices higher, regardless of the sentiment. So it could just be payday for these guys here, which happens. 20% of the time that happens. Um, 
we need this to do well with EU. Uh, the stop loss cluster above was 12616. We're way above that. And below is 12570MR1. Uh, it's 12578MR2 is 12716. We might get up there. The sentiment is uh, buy. Signals are strong. Uh, pound yen. We're taking the stop loss cluster out. <laughs> I think this is probably the most stop loss clusters I've ever seen taken out in um, in the video. So you can see that wick. We just wicked above just uh, just to take those stops. One four zero forty. One below is one three nine eight five. So yeah, this is being helped by the risk on mood, obviously because um, you know the pound is is rallying because of that vaccine news and possible Brexit outcome. And we've got a softer yen because of the risk on. Uh, and above for UJ is um, 104.55. Below is 104.14. This monthly pivots at 104.36. That's them selling. So at that point, they're going to buy dollar CAD. Um, let's have a look. It's another stop loss cluster. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. And that was a huge amount of liquidity that the banks have taken from the retail. Um, what happens if it gets smaller, then we can maybe see a reversal. If it gets larger, it, they just simply uh, push their stops lower so we, the price can come down and get their stops. Check your moving averages across all time frames. And your signal is to sell and the sentiment is to sell. Um, I'm a blow monthly pivot. <laughs> So yeah, it's looking quite heavy. And if dollar, if oil rallies as well, it's going to hurt. Um, dollar Swiss, uh, yeah, dollar Swiss. One above ninety one oh two, on below is uh, eighty nine seventy five. We're very extreme now, so we have to be careful. Over eighty percent, it's I'd avoid, and below twenty percent, I'd avoid. Euro USD is getting close to extreme, and the dollar Swiss is getting close to extreme. So be careful. And lastly, just to wrap up the seven minute video, your gold stop loss cluster above is 1820.15. This was a signal to buy. And if you took it, you did well. Um, we don't put it on the spreadsheet for reasons of volatility and the fact that people potentially could use normal lot sizes for gold when you really shouldn't because the way it moves is uh, is incredible compared to like FX players. So. That's the reason why I've taken it out of the spreadsheet in case someone just takes the gold trade and uses the standard lot size. Um, we shouldn't do that for gold at all because um, it, it, it could break you if you're not obeying a strict risk management. So we're strictly speaking a sell at the high level, but they're selling it. The dynamic shifting, so that becomes a buy every time. Because it's 50%, then it's going to rally and we'll break monthly pivot and we can come up to uh, MR1. 1906. Eight minute video. Um, it's Wednesday, lots of stops taken out, so we could see a reversal day today. We might be flat on the signal, so if so, I apologize, but that's just the retail herd for you. We're in a sort of uh, crossroads this week, so um, hopefully it goes well. Uh, the EJ and EU are going well, AU and AJ are going less well, so we might be flat. Uh, have a good day, and I'll speak to you later.